engineering feats and failures. Hi guys, my name is Shin and today I'm going to tell you about engineering feats and failures. So let's start. Engineering, this book tells you all about engineering from the history. From the BC to modern day now and also what will happen in the future of engineering. And it is also believed that engineers made the first thing is called the Stonehenge. That was the first thing that engineers made. Actually, it was made in the Stone Age. And, and also, historians say, how can people even do that in the Stone Age? They didn't have modern day tools like cranes. But it's just said it's just like that millions of people made millions of people made stairway for them for a lot of people and they marched it up and put the things on two rocks or more. And that was on that was able to do this about about the stone edge of the ring. It was a little destroyed so it, today it looked like this. And also there was, and also today's, today's machine are more advanced and more technological. Like this grid thingy that shows the model of a car. And we can make a lot of things. We, we learn from failures. And this is how many failures are happened because of something. Actually, most of them, 36%, is that they don't have enough knowledge. And 3% are other failures that can't be listed here. And we will learn a lot in our new life. And a lot of stuff that will have to go in the future. It also includes some of the tallest buildings in the world. And sometimes even the a dam. It also lists long ago airships. They long ago airships were floated by hydrogen, the first element, the first element, the first element in the periodic table, and also the first element to be made in the universe. And also, if the iceberg watchers of the Titanic used binoculars more, they could the Titanic could have turned around more fast, much more faster. And the tight and the iceberg couldn't have been hit the Titanic. Most of the people actually died from freezing to death in the water. Oh, and also the type of thing is what the answer. Um, um, it was just that it was so complicated that I had to go through a lot of explanations, and also it was actually a complicated answer. It has decimal points. It's like a never-ending equation. But I couldn't say that the answer because it's too long to say. It's like a never ending question. And this is a model of how the how the Hoover Dam works. And if you want to watch this, watch the BBC C B B C all over the place, United States to watch every episode and in one episode, you might see the Hoover Dam. If you do that, please give me a comment in this video and you watched it. And if you found it out. Also, the St. Francis Dam collapse was actually made by the chief inspector who also designed the Hoover Dam. And he was so sad that he never even invented it, invented anything again engineered anything again after that damn explosion and we're trying to make new space thing space shuttles and space satellites or any space futures technology will be in the future and here's a good process way for for engineers to go through to do steps Please take a photo of this or take a screenshot. Or even copy the details. This is the end of the report and I'll see you next time. Oh, and also my experience. I almost forgot to add it again. And well, I do have an experience, but actually my
my experience is not about me, but my dad. My dad is an engineer. He used to work at a company called Samsung, but now he goes to an engineering company called CSOT in China. Cool, right? That's the end of this video, and I'll see you next time. Plan out. Oh, and my dad designs TV screens. Bye bye. I'll be out of here. Bye, guys.